part four, finding a percentage of a quantity. You will find this on page 131 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook, Y equals NX plus C to success. Before we're going to start with this, I want you to take you back to a table. Okay. Uh, you will find this table on page 146 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Now, in the first, in part three, we were doing expressing one quantity as a percentage of another. So if I said to you, express 8 kilogram as a percentage of 20 kilogram, what did you do? You just made it a fraction by saying 8 divided by 20, and you multiply with 100%, and that gave you an answer of 40%. Now, what I want to show you is that this is the reverse of this. So if I ask, if I put this sum into reverse by saying, uh, finding a percentage of a quantity, if I say, calculate 40% of 20 kilogram, so 40% of 20 kilogram, so I want this answer. So basically, what will I do? I will do the reverse. So I don't multiply by 100, but I divide by 100. Because that percentage means out of 100. So 40 out of 100, and I multiply with 20. And then I will get that 8 kilogram. So just remember, finding a percentage of a quantity is the reverse of expressing one quantity as a percentage of another. Now, just for record, I'll, I will call this one. Oh, I, I want to take a better color. Let's rather take red. I will call this one, method one, because we're going to do four different percentage sums. And at the end, I want you to put every one in the table. So we will call this method two. Let's just find it here. This will then be two, okay, which is the reverse of one. Okay, now we can continue. Finding a percentage of a quantity. For many calculations, we need to find a certain percentage of a quantity. For example, it is common to leave a tip of 10% of the cost of a meal for the waiter. Say the meal cost 85 Namibian dollar. Then 10% of 85 Namibian dollar will be 10 out of 100 times 85, and that will be 8 Namibian dollar and 50 cent. An easy way to find 10% is simply to divide by 10. But if it was 8%, then we need to use the following method. To find a percentage, a percent of a quantity, change the percentage as a fraction. So by putting it over 100 and multiply the fraction by the original value. So just multiply it with that value. It can either be money or kilogram or seconds, any unit. So keep the unit the same. So if this was in Namibian dollar, the answer will be in Namibian dollar. Okay, let's look at example six. Find the value of each of the following. 8% 8 of 85. So I will just say 8 over 100 times 85, and that will be 6 Namibian dollar and 80 cent. Or if I say 20 five and a quarter percent of 350 kilogram. Now, I can just leave it like this, say 25 and a quarter out of 100 times 350. And you can just press it on the calculator. You can make it an improper fraction by saying 25 times 4, that will be 100 plus 1, it's 101 divided by 4. So you can say bracket 101 Divide 4, close the bracket, divide 100, multiply 350, and then you will get that decimal. But if you work with ABC, so if you say bracket 25, ABC 1, ABC 4, close the bracket, divide 100, you will come to the mixed fraction. Okay, but it doesn't matter. Both of them will be correct. And then if I say 250% of $4.40, say for example a shop is buying something for $4.40, and they put a markup of 250%. So let's just work out 250. It's still that percentage means out of 100. I multiply it with the 440, and then I will sell that article for $11. So again, I'm emphasizing 
a percentage can be greater than 100%. You will notice this when we come to profit and loss. Okay. I want you to do try now six. Um, I'm just really, oh, let's just do A and D. And then one practical example will also be very good. I'm just going to move it up a little bit so that you can see that practical example. Okay. Let's start. It's, mm, let's just get a pen. It's, and we make it green. It's try now six. Okay. Let's start with number A. 12% of 120. So if I come and I'm saying 12%, so it's 12 over 100, okay, and I multiply with 120, and my answer will be in that unit, so it's dollar, Namibian dollar, and it's 14.40. Um, if it's money, make it two decimal places. Okay, if I ask you number D, now, this is the fraction, 8 and a third percent. Um, oh, I'm going to write this one out. Of 480 milliliters. So, what will I do with this one? Um, it's We can just say 8 and a third. And we still divide it by 100. And we multiply with the 480. And now, you can press it again on your calculator. You can either just work it with a fraction, say 1 divide 3 plus 8, um, divide by 100, multiply 480, or you can work with your ABC. You can say bracket 8, ABC 1, ABC 3, close the bracket, divide 100, multiply 480, but you will come to an answer of 40 milliliter. Then you are correct. Now let's look at that practical one. We can even change colors. Number 2. So a man earns 250000 per year. What is his yearly house rental if it amounts to 12.5% of his salary? So basically, if I look at this, I'm just going to work out what is 12.5% of that big amount. And that's 250000 number million dollar. So again, it's exactly the same. I just write it out of 100. And now I multiply with that 250,000. And if I do that on my calculator, I will come to the amount of 31,250. 31,250 dollar. That is what his uh, house rental will be for one year.